guys, how are you? Andy Sukufana, CEO of Y2K Credit Solutions. So today's Sunday, Super Bowl. Which team are you going for? All right. Um, actually, both of the teams I'm not a fan of, so I just watch the Super Bowl for entertainment purposes. But the reason I'm doing this video, what a way to wake up on a Sunday morning. What a way with some BS nonsense news from my LifeLock monitoring service. And a lot of you probably asking, why am I using LifeLock? And we have our own score navigator monitoring service. Well, actually I use both um, LifeLock because LifeLock adds a lot of security where um, if your social is being used on the black market, sold on the black market, there's, I have a lot of uh, moving components in my lives, my financial uh, life, right? I have a lot of things going on at all times. Whether it be a business, personal, um, assets, properties. <coughs> so, you know, LifeLock is a little more expensive, right? Um, but for me, it's worth every penny that I spent every month. I think I spent almost maybe $1,500 total a year in LifeLock monitoring just to make sure that my, my personal data is completely secure. Like, it's nowhere on the web, the dark web nowhere because you know i have a lot of uh i have a lot of credit my credit scores like you know i said i have a lot of credit i have a lot of credit cards zero balances i have you know my credit is worth probably a couple million on the black market right you can get a lot of things under my name um but i use life life lock because of the extra security um that it provides when it comes to the black market social hacks and all this stuff right so but also I use Score Navigator for my day-to-day -day monitoring service um, just to check my reports and to see what's going on with my credit daily, you know. I honestly check my Score Navigator once a week. I check LifeLock maybe once a month unless they give me an alert. But this morning I woke up to an alert and I'm pissed off. And, you know, I'm speaking as a, as a consumer now, not as a credit specialist um, in the credit space, I'm speaking as a consumer, woke up this morning, got an alert from LifeLock, and why I'm pissed off is because I'm in the middle of another transaction, which I'm getting ready to close in about two weeks, and this nonsense happens, and I'll tell you how I'm going to address it. So, I woke up this morning with LifeLock, sending me an alert, uh, and letting me know that a new collection item opened on my credit report, reported on my credit report. What? A new collection? I mean, of course, I was I was shocked, right? Because I don't have a lot of, <clears throat> I have credit cards and everything is, all my subscriptions, phone services, all those things are built to a credit card monthly and I pay one bill a month. Uh, one, because it keeps me from having five, six bills coming to my house on full paperless. I don't want bills coming to my home because I don't want my home address being publicly reported on the web. That's one. So all of my bills are paperless. Two, it goes to a credit card automatic debit, automatic charge every month, ACH, whatever you want to call it. And then every month I pay that one bill. So, and I use that on the car that has a very less interest rate but gives me the more points back right so i have that set up on that car but you know what car that is my chase sapphire because i'm a big chase sapphire fan so <clears throat> i woke up got this alert i looked into this account there is a flipping verizon bill on my credit report i'm gonna show it to you guys i'm gonna try to post it in the um in this video as well i have my social media guys uh do it for you guys because i want to be very transparent with you guys that's why i'm telling you guys what goes on in my personal life right there's a lot going on with this whole situation hold on let me try to find a bit so verizon bill for 92 dollars 92 dollars from uh 2019 utility bill so it's not a cell phone bill that means it has to do with cable now <clears throat> this is why it's very important that you guys understand how to read your credit report because when i look at this report when i look at the report 
I cross-referenced. I went on annualcreditreport.com. I downloaded the report right away. I did that this morning. I went on LifeLock. I didn't have my score now yet open. So I had three screens open. And I'm looking at this report because I need to know where this bill came from, what it's about, why it wasn't reported sooner. Because by law, by law, sorry, by law, after six months, it gets reported to a credit report. And what's interesting about this is from 2019, and the bill is still with Verizon. It's now with a third party collection agency, which is good because that means I only got to fix one thing. I only got to fix two things. I only got to fix Verizon. Less work. But you look at the report. One, why is the bill wasn't why wasn't it reported six months after the collection? One. Two, I have no Verizon bill so from since I was 13. Every single bill I have for Verizon every month, clock on, on time, real time, in real life, is between $3,500 to $4,800 a month. Every single month, it's the same bill. Right? It goes because it has to do with business and personal, everything is tied in, all the business stuff is tied in personal bills are tied in and you know all that stuff right cable for the office internet for the office uh all this ip block security everything that's what we pay a month every single month on verizon so i know the transaction the numbers don't change taxes don't change everything is the same so there is no way in hell i have a 92 dollar bill for verizon for utility that that's I, there's nothing i don't have anything remotely that cheap in verizon right because i know i know my bills I'm very systematic, by the way. So, this damn bill took my credit score from an 810 to a 630 this morning. And I'm pissed off. So, I'm gonna get on the phone tomorrow. I have all three reports. There's a lot of missing data from this report. So Verizon needs to tell me what this bill is for, what the address of service is, when it was open, if it was open for a length of time, how the bill was being paid, they need to provide to me the form of payment they got so they have to have return checks or they have to have a bank account that it came out of so I can go back and look on every month that funds was debited out of my account. So I know if that's a legitimate bill. What I think, someone got a hold of my information and is trying to use it but instead of being doing a big transaction, they're testing it. That's what I think it is. To see if it's gonna go through before they proceed. But, I spoke to LifeLock this morning, locked down my credit, nothing can be touched, nothing can be used right now, everything is frozen and blocked, right? But um, that's a personal experience, happened today, this morning, it's 9.14 now. So, Monday morning, I'm gonna be doing a song and a dance and Verizon will be doing some singing to me and explaining this bill. And rest assured, it better be fixed in 30 days. If not, we got problems. Um, and rightfully, if it is my, if it is my bill and there's a discrepancy on my accounting department for why to get, why to get that solution, it was a discrepancy, that's fine, we'll pay it. I don't even wanna settle. I just wanna pay it, get it off. So I can take it off my credit. Because like I said, I'm in the middle of a transaction. I'm supposed to be closing in two weeks, and so now I have to ask for an extension because it is nonsense. But um, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. And one thing I want you guys—a couple of things—I want to take. Want you guys to take from that scenario. If you're using your credit heavily, you're an investor, real estate investor. Um, you depend heavily on credit to make your money. Don't be cheap when it comes to credit monitoring service. It can save you a down payment on a home couple deals whatever it can save you money don't be cheap i speak to a lot of clients and they only want the free things the free things don't give you detailed information like what life lock or score navigator gave me this morning all right scores reports data i need all that when it comes to fixing credit that's what's very important to so make sure you sign up to a credit monitoring service and pay your monthly subscription don't be cheap invest in yourself you can't be investing yourself in louis with louis gucci chanel and all that but can't afford to spend 35 dollars on your credit to make sure everything is top notch at all times. Second thing you want to learn from this conversation, you need to learn how to read your credit report and understand what data you reported on your credit report, where it's coming from. You need to know. Just like how I know how much I spend a month in Verizon, I know all my bills are automatic debit on credit card. This is a big F up. 
right? And I'm 98% sure it's not on my part, or my accounting part, or my accounting department part. I'm sure I know that. But there's that 1% I could be wrong, right? And if I am, I'll do a second video and let you guys know how it goes. But two, I'm a, that's the first, second thing, understanding how to read the credit report and understanding how your data can get on the web to your credit card reporting your address to your credit reports. This is why I go paperless and everything goes to a credit card company. So no bills are to be mailed. And on top of that, all my addresses, all my bills, all my credit cards that's built goes to a different address than where I live. So it's not that hard, it's not that easy to find personal information on me on the web, right? Um, you gotta protect yourself, guys. There's a lot of fraud, a lot of fraud going on out here. It's ridiculous these days now. And, you know, it's, instead of a pandemic, we got a fraud damage. So much fraud going on, so much scam, scam damage going on right now, right? So, protect yourself, guys. Anyway, that was my story today. Hope you guys learned a few things about this video. What you guys do? If you have a question, comment, drop it below. I'll let you, I'll answer for you guys. Talk to you soon.